Good morning. Welcome to another daily devotion here at St. Paul's Pastorburg. I don't know if you know this or not, but this summer has been a, a summer of, of, I guess, personal introspection for the faculty here at St. Paul's. What every faculty member has been doing is taking Clifton Strength Finders test and seeing the kind of gifts that they have been given. It's kind of neat to see. It's things that we know, but it's now putting a label to some of the, the gifts that God has given to different called workers. What I like about it is it reminds that each reminds each and every one of us as called workers that we don't have every single gift. In fact, none of us are that perfect paramount of what a pastor or teacher should be. But yet together we can make an effective, we can make a strong team for St. Paul's. But what I, what I want you to do is think about this. Think about what the Apostle Paul tells us about himself. Would you want this as your pastor? Paul writes about himself in 1 Timothy chapter 1. I thank Christ Jesus our Lord who has given me strength, that he has considered me faithful and appointed me to his service. Even though I once was a blasphemer and a persecutor and a violent man, I was shown mercy because I acted in ignorance and unbelief. The grace of our Lord was poured out on me abundantly, along with faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. Here's a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the worst. But for that very reason, I was shown mercy so that in me, the worst of sinners, Christ might display his unlimited patience as an example for those who would believe on him and receive eternal life. Now to the King, immortal, eternal, invisible, the only God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. This week, remember, we were talking about how this ministry is filled by God mercifully with people here in this world. And this is why we say it is mercifully, that God fills this ministry. He must have pity and compassion on us because we are all sinners. Paul talks about himself as the worst of sinners. We know that he persecuted the church. He was one that fought against Christ. But when the truth was exposed to him, he repented. And God filled his heart instead with love and faith in Christ. This is what I want you to know about every co-worker that will ever stand before you as a pastor or a teacher. Here at St. Paul's, is that they're sinners. But they have been shown mercy. And God in his mercy has poured out his love in Christ, has poured out faith in Christ into the hearts of those called workers. None of the called workers you'll ever have will ever be ones that have the complete package and have all gifts. But what they do have is God's undeserved love and grace given to them. It's an important thing to think about and to remember especially as we, we go to our next lesson and our next devotion. For us today, though, it's enough to just remind ourselves that we have called workers who, again, are only there because of God's mercy and God's undeserved love shown upon them. Let's go to our God and pray. O most merciful God, you fill the holy ministry with people to serve you. Thank you for capturing the hearts and faith of men and women who serve as pastors and teachers. To you, to you O most merciful God, be all glory and honor um, as sinners share the grace of God with the world. Use us today as supporters for the ministry here at St. Paul's and in our synod. We pray and ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. God's grace, mercy, and peace be yours in abundance through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.